Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. In this session, I would like to show you solving geometry problem, solving geometry problem two. Okay. This question is about the circle. The question gives us say the distance around a circular park is 3.14 km. Around a circular park is 3.14 km. On the map, C is a statue in the center. C is the statue in the center. And E is the entrance. S is the exit. R is a rose bush and the area is a relic bush. And there is a path 0 0.60 kilometer from the rose bush to the relic bush. So the distance from R to L is 0 0.60. So the distance between rose bush and the lilac bush is 0 0.60 kilometer. Okay. And also which perpendicular which is okay actually which is perpendicular to S E. Perpendicular to S E. S is exit, E is entrance, and also we can see the S, B, C, E on the same line, and the passes point B, which is the park bench. Find the distance from park bench B to exit S. They're looking for this, they're looking for S, B, so which is SB, looking for SB. So, read the question. We know this question is related to circle. Okay? Then, when you read the question, we need to transfer the sentence to the concept related to circle. Let's say the distance around a circular park is 3.14. So that means the circumference of this circle is 3.14. The circumference total is 3.14 kilometer. So this gives us the information to solve the diameter or solve radius. Because working with circle, we need radius or diameters work with. So that's why we first from this information the distance around a circular park is 3.14 we can find the diameter. So to find the diameter we have circumference because the first one we have 3.14 kilometer equals the, the formula the circumference equals pi times d, right? Pi times d, the d is diameter. This is the formula. So we can find the d. So d equals pi uh, is 3.14 divided pi. So d almost, can I make the number a little bit easy? So you can see 3.14 divided pi is 0 0.999 almost 1. So we just put the 1.00 kilometer. So once you got diameter, that's why you see the radius, also the radius equals half of diameter, which is 0 0.5 kilometer, right? 0.5, we put the three sigma figure, we put zero, zero kilometer, okay? So 
after using this information to find the diameter and the radius, then we go to the next sentence. The distance between the rose bush and the lilac bush is 0 0.6. And also, they say the path is perpendicular to SE. Perpendicular. What give us another information to solve this question? Let's say, because from the second from any circle, if this RL is a chord, if this chord is with a diameter or radius and perpendicular, they will cut the RL into two equal parts. That means RB equals BL. So RB equals BL because RL is perpendicular to SE. The SE actually is passing through the center the SE is diameter, right? So SE actually is diameter, which is called one kilometer. So half of SE, which is SC. So SC is the radius from center to the point on the circle this one is radius, which is half is 0 0.500 kilometer, right? The reason why this is one of geometry theorem, any chord is perpendicular to the diameter or radius, they will divide it the chord in two equal parts. So also we can prove it. To, to prove this one is not difficult. Let's say we, we connect, we join these two points, C and L, and this R and the C. They make two triangle, two right triangle, because CL from center to point on the circle is radius. This is the radius. CR is radius. And, and also we can see CS is radius, right? Later we need to use this one. But now to see why these two equal, the reason is once you join CR and the C, CR, you have two triangles. These two triangles, right triangle, right triangle. So radius equals radius. This side, both triangles, they shear this side. And also, these two angles are equal. Why? Because this right angle is 90 degree, and this angle equals this angle because CRL is an isosceles triangle because this is R, this is R. These two sides equal, that's why these two angles equal. These two angles equal, and this is right triangle, that's why these two angles equal. You can use 180 minus 90 minus this angle, you have this angle, right? So that's why in these two triangles, RBC and LBC, you have one side equal correspondingly, and this one is shear one side, these two angle equal. This is a follow SAS, right? So you have SAS means two side equal correspondingly, and one angle equal. That's why these two triangle are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, then any corresponding sides are equal. So RB equals 
be air. That's why these two equal. These two equal, we can calculate because R air equals 0 0.6 kilometer. So B air or RB, so that's why you see RB equals B air equals half 0 0.6, 0 divided by 2 equals 0 0.3 kilometer, right? So we need to use this information and this information to solve it. So we go to the next page. Then we can see this one put on the top. You can see this one because we're looking for the distance SB and SB is a part of radius. Because SB, we can write, this one can write, put here, okay, okay. Because SB equals SC minus BC. SB equals SC minus BC. SC is radius, radius. So, which is 0 0.5, 0, 0 kilometer minus BC. So, if we're looking for SB, we need to find BC. And the BC is in this triangle. You can see BC in this triangle. This is B, this is C, this is L. And this one is 0 0.5 radius. And this one is 0 0.3. We got this one, right? That's why we find what the BC equal. This right triangle, Pythagoras theorem. So BC equals BC square equals R square minus B R square. Because this is length, we put length here. And which is opposite, and which is 0 0.5 square minus 0 0.30 square. We can use calculate to calculate, and also we see as long as any right triangle, the hypotenuse is a five. Uh, this side one leg of right triangle is 0 0.3. The other is must be. The ratio is 3, 4, 5. So this is actually is BC equals 0 0.40 kilometer. Also you can use calculate to calculate this one, get the square root. Uh, you can see BC equals square root. This one is 0 0.25 minus 0 0.09 which is gave you 0 0.16, which gave you 0 0.40. Okay. Same thing, right? If you know the pattern, it's easy. And after find BC is 0 0.4, then you can plug in this. So SB, we're looking for, equals the total length as C is 0 0.5, Minus 0 0.4, we got 0 0.1 kilometer. Okay, that's why SB equals 0 0.1 kilometer, which is the distance from the bench park, a uh, park bench to exit. So this one we got 0 0.1. So this is presented by wise guys. Thank you. Have a nice day.